Let's drop a few patches in here, and then we can see how comments work. If we click device, we can go over here and add an instruction. These are on-screen prompts to tell the user what to do. Now let's right click on focal distance and add a face mesh. And this will actually automatically make a face tracker, which is required for the face mesh. And we can click this and drag it down in here and it'll create these three patches. And we won't dive into the functionality of it right now, but you can probably guess what they do just from their names. So now we have instructions up here and some face stuff down here. And it's pretty easy to tell what's going on, but eventually when you have a massive grid of patches, you're gonna get pretty lost. You can click and drag and select multiple patches and then right click and comment around. That adds this little border and if you click and drag it, all these will move together. And when you let go, it might snap a little bit, but you can just tweak that to fix it. Also be careful, because if you drag it over here, things will get stuck in it. So just be wary of that. So we'll add another one over here. And I like to give it a little bit more headroom, just so it's a little cozier. And if you right click, on this bar, you can change the colors. So you can color coordinate based on the type of calculations going on, or you can just make a nice rainbow color or rainbow effect. And that's usually what I end up doing. And then just by double clicking here, you can type in something. So instructions up here and head stuff down here. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple function, but it's really handy, especially when you get a lot of stuff going on.